Students generally know that a meter is 100 centimeters. But a very common mistake is to think that a square meter is 100 square centimeters. Now, the only reason they're making that mistake is because they don't have a good visual picture of what that means. So I drew it right here. This giant square here is a square meter. I measured it out. And this tiny little red square is one centimeter by one centimeter. So looking at the board, you can tell at a glance, it's going to take a lot more than a hundred of these to fill this up, right? You're going to need a hundred of those just to make one stripe and then a hundred stripes to fill it up. So that's 10,000 square centimeters. Here's another thing that people might not have a solid intuition on, a liter. So I made one. This is a liter. It is 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. So it's a thousand cubic centimeters, a thousand milliliters. It's also 0 0.001 meters cubed. Now, if you have an idea of a one liter bottle, say of soda, it doesn't look like it would fit, but it actually would because remember, it's not filling the entire bottom. If you were to pour this in, if I could make this out of glass or something, you would find that it would exactly fill it up. Now, 10 of these in a row would reach across the meter here. And then 10 layers would make 100 liters. And then 10 of those coming out would be 1,000 liters. So it would take 1,000 liters to make a cubic meter. And if you fill that with water, it is literally a metric ton.